What is up guys, my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere. So in today's video, I'm going to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So you have to download these two files, I've given the link of them in the description and then you have to extract the first file and then after you have extracted the first file, you have to extract the MI flash unlock. These two files are the important things you need to know to unlock the bootloader of the Redmi Note 10 Pro and then you need to open the first file that is all Xiaomi drivers by Sumit Obroy. So Sumit Obroy is my favorite YouTuber, he makes a lot of good content and in the folder you will get a lot of options so first of all you need to extract the adb setup the 1.4.3 adb is very important so you just need to tap on extract it's gonna extract in a one second and there you go and then you need to tap and see there is the there is our adb then you need to just unplug the smartphone if it is charging or whatever just take your smartphone out and take the cable of your charger this is very important so you just need to connect the cable to the pc or the laptop you are using and then just uh, you know connect it to the smartphone so the battery life is very low in this case but it doesn't matter because the bootloader is not gonna be unlocked instantly it will take around seven days to unlock so that is the one thing you need to know so after you have connected you need to just uh, open your phone go in settings and once you are in settings, you need to tap on about phone and then tap on MIUI version 7 to 8 times to unlock the developer option. Then go back, go in additional settings, go in developer options. And now you need to check three things. First of all, you have to go in MI unlock and then you can see this is what you need to sign in. First of all, you need to check that you have USB debugging enabled, you have OEM unlocking enabled and MI unlock status, you need to tap on add account and device. If you haven't signed in, you can basically sign in from your Google account or your phone number. And it's gonna say your account is successfully added. Then go back and then just you have to go onto your PC. So now you need to double tap on this ADB setup file it will open a blue popping window there you go you have to type on yes like give it the permission and then you just need to wait a few seconds and there you go now you just need to tap y on your keyboard and enter then again y and then enter it's gonna copy the files install the adb drivers and just tap on y once more time so this is for installing device drivers of oneplus or oh, i mean redmi not 10 pro just tap on next to install the driver and then it's gonna install tap on finish so yeah that's how you need to do you can just tap enter as well so now after you have done that you will see your pc or laptop will recognize that your redmi note 10 pro is connected to the smart like the laptop then what you need to do is you need to go back and you need to extract this file that is the qs loader and now it depends upon the pc but most modern pcs i3 dual core i5 all have 64 bit so you can just extract it and there you go the 64-bit file is a lot useful i think you can extract that one and then just double tap on the setup tap on ok i mean yes there you go give all the permissions of the setup and it's going to just happen in an instant just tap on next follow the steps as i'm doing tap on ok then accept the agreements tap on next tap on next one more time it's installing the drivers which is very useful for unlocking the bootloader of the smartphone so as you guys can see by the time your smartphone needs to be connected to the pc all the time so make sure you do that correctly and then the drivers are installing and it's just about to be done in a few seconds so there you go tap on finish and then just click on yes restart the pc now most people don't restart the pc they say no but this is a very big mistake just tap on yes restart the pc because restarting the pc will set the drivers working properly without any issue so you should definitely restart the pc and as you guys can see the battery life is only 24 percent but no problems it's gonna work absolutely fine so now let's just wait for our pc to restart and then we can continue so i have a lenovo idpad slim 5i and this laptop is actually a very good laptop i kind of like it then you need to tap on cmd and open this command prompt and then just type adb devices so once you type adb devices it is gonna just press enter it's gonna say in your smartphone a pop-up will come so let me show you swipe up there you go just tap it uh, it's asking you do you want to allow usb debugging tap on ok and then you need to type you need to actually open that mi flash unlock tool so there you go and you need to verify your account and phone number the mi flash unlock file which i earlier showed you you need to open that and then you can say just uh, type in the otp it sends in the numbers because to log in it needs verification so here is the otp which you need to type in here so let's just type in the otp it is uh, 849685 there you go 
just tap on done and there you go now we are signed in into this mi account which is very nice and then simply what we need to do is we need to go back and tap on pda net double tap tap on yes and it's going to install so just tap on yes accept the agreement tap on next tap on next next and uh, then you need to click on yes and then it's installing you need to click on install you need to say skip usb and uh, just tap on skip usb you need to read this if you want but i'm just gonna type or like uh, click then click install it has installed the drivers and then press ok and then you need to just tap on finish and ok so now what happens is your smartphone you just need to boot it up into the fast boot mode so you need to just switch off the smartphone and then hold the volume down and power button at the same time so after you have holded this the smartphone will boot into fast boot mode connect it to the pc and then just connect let me just connect the cable it will be recognized so there you go the smartphone is recognized in the fast boot mode right now by the mi unlock tool so what you need to do basically right now is once you are in fast boot and it is connected to the pc you just need to go in this button which is called unlock and tap on it like click on it so just click unlock it's saying unlocking and it says wait 168 hours that is basically seven days so this is the part one and then after seven days i'm gonna make another video the part two of how to unlock the bootloader so make sure you subscribe my channel for more videos like this and now the custom room videos are gonna come so make sure you subscribe that's it thanks for watching i will see you in the next one